the most populous state of India, Uttar Pradesh has banned all unauthorized loudspeakers. In an order which has been issued to all district collectors and superintendents of the police, the district administration has been instructed to remove all loudspeakers which may have been installed in public places. A survey is to be conducted by the district officials and a report is to be submitted by the 10th of January. The 10-page order which was issued by the principal secretary of Uttar Pradesh was done after the Allahabad High Court on the 20th of December questioned the UP government as to what action it had taken against unauthorized loudspeakers which were installed at religious places. According to a new order, all public places or organizers including religious establishments will now be required to get permission for using loudspeakers from the government before 15th of January, failing which action could be taken against them by 20th of January under the Noise Pollution Prevention and Control Rules 2000. The Uttar Pradesh State Home Ministry has further clarified that the maximum permissible sound level in a public space should be below 10 decibels. I'm joined by my colleague uh, Saleh on this issue. Saleh, you know, this, uh, this legislation is 18 years old, but it has taken 18 years for this legislation to be implemented and noise pollution is not a problem which is specific to the India's most uh, populous, uh, biggest and the most crowded state. It is something which has to do with each and every part of the India and each and every city in this country. That's exactly correct, Kartikeya. Sound pollution is a very big aspect of people who live in India, especially in urban centers. Now, one of the key issues that we are looking at here is that the UP government has issued this order after it was questioned by the Allahabad High Court on the 20th of December as to what action it had taken, especially uh, from loudspeakers that are installed at religious places. Now, this, this of course, cuts across all religions. Now, there are loudspeakers which are extremely loud and there needs to be some sort of regulation on it. Now, what the order now specifies is that the district administration needs to crack down on them. A survey will be done, uh, the report of which will have to be submitted by tomorrow by all district officials. And by the 15th of this month, any religious establishment or any other place which feels the need to use loudspeakers will have to get permissions from the state government in the state of Uttar Pradesh. And by the 20th of January, action could be taken there could be fines and the other penalties under this 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 particular guidelines that have been issued in the year 2000 will be taken it's not just in the case of uttar pradesh it is uh, a problem that cuts across the whole the length and breadth of india even internationally there are clear guidelines for any any sort of activity but be you know, it religious Sunday... one be it concerts be it sporting arenas now there are clear guidelines which determine as to how much noise can actually be made in a particular place you know, Saleh, noise pollution guidelines are universal in nature. Uh, every country has its own uh, uniqueness when it comes to maintaining uh, uh, barriers mm -hmm. in, to ensure that the noise pollution is contained. But what are the challenges when it comes to India? What are okay. the challenges which lawmakers are going to face in Uttar Pradesh? Okay, now let's, let's actually address the elephant in the room. Now, this is an interesting order that has been passed. If you look at the fine print of it, uh, you know, in the 10-page order, it says that no religious organization will be allowed to make a noise that is louder than 10 decibels. Let's actually also look at some of the other guidelines that are given. The maximum, maximum permissible limit in an industrial area is said to be about 75 decibels. In a commercial area, it is 65 decibels. And in a residential area, it is about 55 decibels. Now, what is going to happen, Kartike, is that uh, any person, any religious organization, there are concerts, let's, let's put it this way, uh, which are organized, there are other political rallies which are organized, all of them will be required to take the permission of the administration before they can use loudspeakers. Some people are saying there could be possible instances where people may face harassment, bribes could be given, all of this will take place. And also remember the recent controversy that has taken place in Uttar Pradesh where a Hajj house had been painted saffron. There's also a police station that's now, you know, a portion of it was painted saffron. So there are questions that are being asked. You know, there is a separation of religion and the state. But is the Uttar Pradesh government, which has now passed this order, going to implement it, keeping the principle in mind that religion and state are two separate entities, or will there be a, some level of discrimination that will actually be played out when this rule will be implemented on the ground? Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Saleh, for this update. Indeed, it's going to be a very challenging task for the lawmakers to implement it in a non-partisan way.